storybook season of the Niagara hockey team has come to its culminating moment for the 2018-19 season. A team that was unified by a single goal, which many other people did not see possible. There have been hardships along the way for the Purple Eagles squad, but the resilience and tough times has been unmatched and has proven its worth as the team comes riding into the Atlantic Hockey Final Four. For college hockey players, this is the mecca of league season. To win the conference championship and move on to the NCAA tournament. For the first time since 2014, the Purple Eagles find themselves within reach of the Atlantic Hockey title. This is Niagara University Hockey, and this is Uncommon, Episode 11. Niagara and RIT have faced off four times this season, with Niagara only coming out victorious on the last game of the regular season. A later start than expected has both teams waiting anxiously for warm-ups as American International and Robert Morris would head into overtime. The Yellow Jackets would come out victorious and await the winner of Niagara and RIT. Boom! This is a text I've been sending to everybody. I love it. I love it. I love where you're at, okay? Right here, baby. Right here. Right? You get to choose if you're going to lead yourself or if you're just going to conform to what everybody does. But you guys have made the choice to stop hoping and start doing. Right? You lead yourself. Everybody's in better shape. Everybody's eating better. You went and you went again, right? Let's go. Let's go. Coach Lammers and crew knew the challenge that lay ahead in the Harbor Center, but the Purple Eagles knew what was at stake. In front of a capacity crowd at the Harbor Center in downtown Buffalo, the teams took to the ice in front of a capacity crowd. Love the neutral zone, some good choices. I thought our choices got better as the game went along there, right? And the IZO, let's keep going. I think you can shoot pucks. Remember, this guy loves to touch the puck. Yeah. All right, man, let's go. Let's go, Kirk. Keep talking to each other, keep talking to each other. Nice, good choice. Good choice. John, great breakout, man. We're gonna work fast. One here. Love the breakout passes you made. Great D zone there too. Alright, come on, boom, let's go, let's go. Hey. 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 
Bobby. Come on. Give me that forehand. Give me that thing. Give me that thing right here, right here. Hey, look, look, look. I love it. I love it. Don't worry, boys. I've been here before. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Still right here, baby, huh? Still right here. Hey, keep going. Right? We lead the nation in shorties. Makes it fun. Makes it fun. Okay? Hey, once we get, we get this done, now just keep staying over top of them. You've done a nice job. You've created a lot of good opportunities for yourself. Love how hard you're working. Love how hard you're competing. Love how confident you are. It's fun to watch, okay? Let's go, baby, let's go. With that, overtime was underway. The only goal tonight would send the winner to the championship game. Austin Stedler with the blast, and he just missed the top far corner. Curran keeps it in down low. Sure get guys out. Curran to Stedlin, back and score! So many, so many efforts, so many efforts, okay? I can think of uh, Wilson the last 30 seconds coming across with the big chest, big save. Uh, yep. <laughs> now it's important that we out science, right? Now this is what you've worked for. You've done this all year. Just keep doing what you do, okay? Just keep doing what you do. We'll figure out the timing for tomorrow, but let's take care of now today. Okay? Yeah, um, honestly, I don't really know or remember what happened but I just got the puck from from Johnny Curran and the goalie was kind of far out so I tried to make a move and then slide slide it through the, his uh, five ball and luckily it went in. What was that feeling like when you saw it going? It was uh, I was just excited it was probably the best feeling I've ever had. On the next episode of Uncommon the Purple Eagles look for its first Atlantic Hockey Championship against the AIC Yellow Jackets.